Hey guys, I'm back with another simple, simple tutorial. This tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, make different things visible and not visible by click of a button. Um, some of you may think, wow, that is simple as crap. But I'm starting with the simple stuff and then I'm going to get into the really intense stuff in this series. So let's begin. So let's open a new project. And we're gonna call it appearing and disappearing. All right. Oop, again. All right. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna add a label. We're gonna add two label. Uh, no, we're gonna add one label and we're gonna add two buttons. All right, no, one button there, one button there. Alright, so let's move it up like this, like that. So this button's gonna say YouTube. Alright. This button's gonna s If I said button for this, I meant label, sorry. <laughs> I'm just like half asleep right now. Alright, uh, okay, what was I gonna do? <laughs> okay. Um, okay, appear and disappear. All right. So what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna make this not visible down here. So when you run this program, it's not there, right? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this button actually make that label. Um, visible. So you're going to go label one dot visible equal true. So basically it's making the label visible true, right? And then disappear is going to make label one dot visible false. Appear, disappear, appear, disappear, appear, disappear, appear, disappear. Five hours later. Cam board. All right. Nah, uh, yeah, that's really simple really simple really simple so yeah we could do it with other things too you know you could uh let's just do a freaking text box whatever we're gonna make a text box disappear and re uh, uh reappear so text box one dot visible text box one dot visible like false we have to click on it, make it visible, false. And we'll go like this, appear, disappear, appear, disappear. Now you can do this with anything, literally anything. It's one of the most simplest things that you could possibly do in coding on Visual Basics. I don't even know why I made this tutorial, whatever. It's for you noobs out there. <sighs> Sorry, but um, I was kind of bored and I didn't know what tutorial to make. And I decided to make this, so I guess that's it, right? Next tutorial, I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to add a print document so you can actually print out what you want. Alright, so thanks for watching this stupid tutorial. And comment if you like my background. Or comment to let me know that this tutorial is easy and stupid. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.